Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you. It's been a minute or two or three. Today we're going to go to the woods. Going to go to the ash woods and I'm going to bring back a load in the Defender. See how much wood we can get. Uh, it's just a boring Saturday afternoon. I've been splitting some wood but it's kind of hot out so last time I was over in the woods I saw a nice tree that had fallen down. Not too big. Uh, good manageable pieces. So we're gonna go over and cut it up and bring it back, stack it up and get it split. I am gonna be very minimalistic today. I'm only gonna be taking 500 because this is gonna be riding back with me in the cab because this bed is gonna be full. I got my steel picaroon, some hearing protection. Saw is gassed and oiled up. I don't think we're gonna cut more than one tank because I don't think we can handle more than one tank worth of wood in the bed and on the trailer. So the trailer's already over there. Let's get on down the road. We'll see you there. All right, I am out here in the woods. I've got my little homemade trailer here, hitched behind the old mule, Defender. Yeah, it's not a mule, it's a Defender, but it's my tow mule. And last time I was out here, I saw this nice ash tree that had just fallen. And I wanna start getting this ash as soon as it falls, that way it doesn't sit on the ground and start taking on water and uh, get it while it's good. So I'm gonna whip this thing up, get it loaded up and head on home. So I'll see you out there. We're using the 500i today. Come on. That is done and I got quite a few rounds here going all the way back through there and then up I think that I started the saw at 356 it's now 403 it warmed up for a few minutes I'd move the camera but man you got a pro saw you can whip through logs quick and it is 100% worth buying the better saw and getting this stuff done I figured it'd take me like maybe 10 minutes and this ash doesn't cut the easiest. This is super dry, but it's not punky yet. I mean, that is 
nice stuff there real good stuff so i'm gonna put you on time lapse i want to get all this loaded into the unit and i there's a lot of rounds here i think it's gonna be full maybe we might need a little bit more maybe not we'll see All right, got it all rounded up here, filled the trailer. The trailer is, uh, it's full. I got some in the bed here, so I'm gonna need to go find some more to polish off of this. I think it took maybe um, seven to 10 minutes to wrangle them all over here, down that way into the trailer. So let's go find some more wood, top off a little bit that we need and get on home. So I'm not sure it caught that last part, but anyways, trailer's full. There's still room in the side by side. So I'm going to load these pieces up in there. Already cut. I might have to cut on this other one a little bit, but we'll see how she goes. This stuff is gonna be kind of heavy, maybe. Put this one on there. You know what? Since there's already some halves here, just have some fun, run some saws. I'm gonna noodle these suckers in half because I like to run saws. Let's do that. You know what? I ain't doing that. All right, so we're all loaded up, big pieces, trailer's full. I've been in the woods for 25 minutes now, gathering this stuff up, and probably five to seven minutes of it was uh, me catching my breath so I could talk to the camera. Otherwise, I'd be gone by now, but I can't talk to you when I can't breathe because it's hot and I'm out of shape. So we're gonna get home. We're gonna split this stuff up. We're gonna get after it, cruise on home in just a few minutes, and we'll get there. Also, I got the chainsaw stuffed in the back of this thing. It ain't going anywhere. I wish that somebody would make a mount for these defenders that would go under the seat because this seat here flips up. As you can see, this box comes out got full of tools, but it'd be really cool if somebody made a mount that clamped the chainsaw and it stood straight up, maybe a couple of them because the center seat comes up too, I think. That'd be really neat if uh, somebody that makes accessories watches this, he should build one because I would definitely buy one and I'm sure there's several other people that would buy one. Let's get on home, we'll see you there. So I got back had some dinner and now I'm gonna get this split up uh, I'm just gonna work right out of the trailer and then pull the trailer out back to the defender in here and split that up just because uh, I don't really want to bend over so that's what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get the splitter fired up here I'm gonna be running my conveyor right into my ash pile and uh, see how long this takes
All right, so just finished up, but overall, not too bad at all. Um, anyways, that will do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. We will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.